Morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas day 13 we're on today. I can see Trevor counting in the kitchen. Trevor is just about to make up the pastry and everything for the Christmas pie. So actually what's gonna happen this year is we're having a big Christmas dinner at my mom's with the whole family on Boxing Day. And we're having a smaller Christmas dinner here on Christmas Day. And actually Trevor's parents are coming over from Canada and his brother as well. So when I say smaller, there's still gonna be five of us, but we didn't want to do a big heavy roast um, like two days in a row. So Trevor's making a pie, which we're gonna be having, but we wanted to also get as much done as we can in advance because the kitchen's only small and there's gonna be five of us. We just don't want all the piles of dishes hanging around on kitchen day. So we're trying to prep bits and pieces ahead of time and we can put it into the freezer. If you'll remember, I made the pastry the other day and put it in the fridge. So now I've got it out, floured the surface and the rolling pin. So I'm just going to start rolling it out. As you can see, I've put the pie in the pie mold. I'm actually using a cake tin mold because it's uh, got a good, good bit of depth to it. Just uh, trimmed the edges and just put in some foil in to put some baking beans in. Today it's my niece's third birthday party. I really didn't know what to get her. So I measured out all of the ingredients and I wrote out the instructions on this plastic um, for cookies and put them into these cute little bags. These are actually bags for rice balls, but you pull that line down there and like their faces open and the filling falls out. So I thought that would be a sweet one. It's difficult to know what to get her. Christmas is coming up. She's got lots of toys and things. So I thought I would do that. And we're just having some coffee. And I think Trevor's already shown you his awesome pie, which is gonna be deep filled for Christmas day. We're having some porridge for breakfast with um, stewed rhubarb on it. It's actually rhubarb from the allotment, but we're trying to make a bit of space in the freezer, so I thought we'd take it out. I don't think that that one little bag of rhubarb is gonna give us quite as much room as we need, but it's a good start. That tower up there, it's at the back of Shrewsbury Castle, and it's called Laura's Tower. So, you know, I'm basically famous now. <laughs> I must not give in to the Starbucks temptation. I'm at the train station now and I'm on my way to my sister's um, before my niece's party this afternoon. We're gonna have a go at putting together some of her Christmas presents. I think there's like a princess castle or something. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit difficult to film here because the announcer lady keeps coming on. Um, I had that giant coffee so I wasn't tempted by Starbucks because they've opened a Starbucks on the platform which is usually like a nice treat, but this week I seem to have been on the train a lot and I can't afford to keep having Starbucks. I had that giant coffee this morning and I'm definitely like full of energy. I can feel everything really vibrant because the coffee is pulsing through me. I popped to mum's to pick up the birthday cake. It looks absolutely amazing. Mum's also having a little Christmas dinner party today. So look at these tasty mince pies she's got for her friends coming later. And there's some other tasty bits going on as well. We've kind of come mid Mid cooking, haven't we? Yeah, mid prep. <laughs> it's looking mega Christmassy in here with all the Christmas lights on and the tables all laid out too. We're at my sister's now and the Elsa cake has made it the first part of the journey. It is starting to rain so we had to put a plastic bag over her. Um, it's actually my mum's partner Lynn that made the cake and the detail on it is absolutely amazing. Let me just show you the icing. I don't think the light's really picking it up but it's all sparkly too and then there's actually a doll which is one of my niece's presents like stuck in the cake. Her legs are all wrapped up with cling film so when we get to the party and we've had the cake and the candles will be able to rescue the doll out of the middle and she can play with her which I think is a brilliant idea. And this is our project for the morning so we're gonna put this My Little Pony castle together. It's coming together really well but the instructions are rubbish but thankfully for YouTube we've got the instructions up and we're watching a video of somebody else making it at the same time. That was actually really easy. Thank goodness for YouTube videos. <laughs> I've just got back from the party. It was really good actually. The place, it was like one of those kids indoor soft play places. It was really well organized and was, there wasn't really much to do. It was, it was good. It was nice to just watch everybody playing. So I've had quite an easy afternoon really. Um, I've just got back, Trevor's back from work and we're just settling down now. We're gonna have some tea and I think there's also a bottle of kava, which will be quite nice. Um, it's the X Factor final tonight, so I might put that on. Um, I have watched most of this series, but I don't think that there's anybody that great left in it. But it's just one of those Sunday evening Christmassy things to do is to watch that. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much the plan for the rest of the evening. So I'm going to say goodnight now, guys, but I will see you tomorrow.